So here I have um, the model of my beam using 1D elements, 2D elements, and 3D elements. So let's take a look at my model using 3D elements. So I'll go to that, and if I go to the isometric view, I want to plot the stress distribution on a surface at the center of the beam. Okay, so I, I need to create a plane at the center of the beam by cutting through the, the model. And I do that using coordinate systems. So highlight coordinate systems, go to the face selection filter, and select that face. In fact, I can go back to the isometric view. And whatever entity I create, uh, I select. If I say new coordinate system, it'll put the coordinate system at the center of that entity. Um, and I can, re I can uh, rename it. Let me call it, give it a scientific name, my coordinate system. And I need to use the XY plane to cut through, so I need to rotate this about Y. And so I highlight my coordinate system, and I say rotate about Y. And that gives me, you know, I can specify the Y rotation, and I can say 90 or minus 90, it may, doesn't make a difference, okay? So you can see now my XY plane is where I want it to be in order to, you know, do a suitable cut through the model. Then I go to model and say construction geometry. And then we have usually done path, we do surface, and we create the surface using the coordinate system that I just created. So it shows you that surface is going to be created by taking the XY plane of, my, of the new coordinate system and cutting through the model. Now I can go in and um, and plot the, you know, plot the stress distribution on that plane. By the way, if I go to my coordinate system and look at the X, Y, and Z locations, um, it's, you know, I can check that that's where I want the, the coordinate system to be. Um, in this case, you know, the, the Y and Z location really don't, um, don't matter. It can be anywhere along that plane. Then I go to solution and I say stress normal. So I can rename that. Let me rename it as sigma xx. And I'll say, so let me expand this. I will say surface and scope it to the surface that I just created. I could have renamed it. You know, I could have renamed the surface, but I'm just using the default name. And then I say, evaluate results. And if I say, no wireframe, um, you can see it shows me the, the sigma x distribution, sigma x x distribution over that plane. And I can look at it along x. Um, I can turn off the, if I want, I can turn off the ruler. Okay, so there's a plot that I have of the stress distribution on that cross-section. <clears throat> and similarly, so if I go back to the model, and let's say, so I highlight geometry here, and say I want to probe the, um, the displacement at the center of that cross-section, or center of that line. I just need to create a coordinate system that's centered at the point where I want to probe it. So if I click on um, this line, for instance, and then say um, create a coordinate system. Okay, so it's put a you know a new coordinate system at the at the center of that line. I could also scope it to the center of that surface, um, and then if I'd say probe deformation and select that new um, coordinate system. So I'll say I want to probe based on coordinate system. The orientation of both coordinate systems is the same, so I can leave that as is and change that to 
that new coordinate system. So it shows you where it's going to probe it. And then I say evaluate all results and that gives me the displacements in the three directions at that location. Um, if I change the scoping of the coordinate system to um, to this surface, okay, and then say evaluate um, all results. Okay, see now it's probing it at a different location. So by by changing the location of the coordinate system, I can probe at different points.